Hey everybody, it's a great intro. This is my uh, <clears throat> work shed, I guess you could say. Not really work shed, but uh, sea van, sea container, a lot of different names for them. So, I got this table that I'm making. I haven't done any videos on it, but I, I got a bus that I converted to an RV. So I made this custom table from a blank from uh, Lowe's, probably Home Depot sells them too. They're just boards pressed together, unfinished. You can stain them whatever color you want. And uh, So I stained it, put a little polyurethane on it, and then I uh, burned Yakzilla into it. That's what we're going to call the bus slash RV. Got to call it an RV uh, for insurance purposes, obviously. Uh, so I got some photos of places we've been, different trips we've been on. Uh, just stuff all over, places we've been on, little vacations. I could probably add to it forever, but I want to put this uh, epoxy <clears throat> coat on there to seal it up. So I'm going to grab that. I'm not using a tripod. I got my hand stabilizer. <clears throat> And it's kind of tough. It's probably going to fall over and break my camera. But uh, So I've been watching YouTube videos of people doing it. They're, it's called Famo Wood or Famo Wood Glaze Coat. Crystal clear. Uh, one coat of this is equivalent to 60 coats of polyurethane or, or varnish. Uh says a, a quart will do nine square feet so my table's two by four so that gives us eight square feet so we'll have a little left over I don't really care I'm gonna mix the whole batch up in one shot I might go find something cool to put like in a cup and pour the last ounce in there like uh, maybe a cricket or a Something I don't know. Maybe I might just grab a, a penny or a quarter and, and put that in there Just that last drop trying to make a ball out of it. Kids will love that <clears throat> So that's what we got. I'm gonna go ahead. It's two parts. You're supposed to mix equal parts of B to equal parts of A uh, I'm going with the full jug, so it should be pretty straightforward I'm not setting anything on the table. I got it leveled up really good right now. Say one of the keys is to uh, keep it level and pour it into the center. That way it, it disperses itself evenly. And then I guess you got to do whatever on the edges. It's going to drip, obviously. And then you sand that down. Take care of that. Uh, so I'm going to probably pause this, mix this up. Before I pour it, I'm going to find something cool to bury in my last uh, maybe ounce. If I got an ounce of it left, I could put it in a, maybe like an ice cube tray. Drop something cool in an ice cube tray and then dump it in the glaze coat. So, video will probably have a little, a little jump. And when it comes back, I'll have this mixed up. I'll probably have my little cup of whatever that I've decided to bury. And then uh, I'm going to pour this on there. The only tools you really need, they, they say you have some gloves. I got some nitrile gloves, uh, a squeegee. I got basically like a, uh, more like a plastic putty knife, but that should be fine. Just have to spread it out a little bit. I know some people use a torch or a hair dryer. The key is do not shake this stuff. Stir it and don't stir it vigorously because the more you stir it like a maniac, the more bubbles it gets in it. Bubbles are bad. You don't want bubbles. So I'm going to take my time, stir it up nice and slow, try to keep the bubbles out of it. They say if you hit it with a hair dryer or a heat gun or even a torch, uh, it'll, it'll, pop, it'll pull the bubbles up and pop them. I'm a little skeptical of hitting some uh, whatever this crap is with a torch. It doesn't say flammable. But I'm sure it is. It's a resin. It's got to have some type of... Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll grab a torch and just do it, and this whole thing will flame up inside my C-Van, burn up the KLR, burn up the dirt plate, the bicycles, 
all my tools, burn all my crap up, you know what I mean? Paint cans over there, they'll be popping, exploding. You'll have uh, black spray paint, gray spray paint, blowing up all over the place, popping like crazy. But, uh, oh well, we'll give it a shot. So when I come back, I'll have everything mixed up. I'll be ready to make the dump. We'll see how it goes. Right now, them pictures are glued on there, uh, hodgepodge. I, I did, I watched a lot of YouTube videos on this. Uh, so that thing was already polyurethane. Stuck the pictures on there with a little bit of hodgepodge behind them and then painted a coat of that over them. They say you can put multiple layers of hodgepodge for like a, a varnish finish too, but I'm not doing that. So, all right, let me mix this up. All right, so I'm back. Camera might be in a little different position. I moved it to uh, do a couple things. Everything's all mixed up. Very poor. Uh, I should have made a video of that. So you dump the two parts together. It's really cloudy. And then uh, you got to mix it for at least two minutes. It's kind of impossible not to get bubbles in it. But after two minutes of mixing, it's really cloudy when you first start. But when you're done, after the two minutes, it really, uh, it really clears itself up. So I'm going to pour it on there. Try to pour it all right in the middle-ish. Fan it out. Hope I do it right. Looks like I might be leaning that way a little bit too much. And there ain't nothing left. I got it all out. So take this squeegee not really a squeegee but I'm going to let it go on its own for the most part try to move it around I don't know how much oh I know I bumped the camera Smooths them around really good. Um, I know. I don't want to take too much out of the middle. Too early. I'd like to let it spread itself, but it's not making it over the edges. So, and that's the thing. It's got to go over the edges. And then, once it's over the edges, I think you still have to smear it around on the edges to make sure you get good coverage on the edges. And then I think uh, after that, you have to go back and sand all your edges because it will uh, it makes it really heavy. And uh, probably looks pretty crappy. So, dragging it to the edges as much as I can without taking too much out of the middle. It's going pretty well. I even seen some guys catch it. I guess on a really big pour. You don't want to waste too much. Let's so you catch it. That's pretty cool. See that? Watch that. Wham! Oh, that's cool shit. I 
can't really wipe it up off the ground. I can't use that. I want to make sure the edge has a good coat on it though. Which is kind of tough. It's not as thick on the edges as it is everywhere else. Stuff super messy. I guess I could take some off the floor to get the edges wet. This edge. Oh, there we go. That worked good. That worked good. I don't know how well that's going to work out here. Though. Ooh. Still working. That's right. GoPro without the case on. Took a dive. Probably broke the mic though. I got external mic. Sorry for that. Technical difficulty. Technical difficulty. Experience a little technical difficulty. You hit the motorcycle that it's sitting on. It's bound to fall. Now, got some over here. Edges are definitely tricky. Really, really tricky. The edges don't look anywhere near as good as the top, which isn't. I don't know. I mean, I, I might not be all the way as level as it should have been either. Seems like it's a uh, little heavy in the back. Uh, Trying to get a little extra for my project. I put my, uh, oh man, it's got it on. I couldn't find nothing cool. So I just found like a, I found a, Dead. Shit, I'm making a mess now. I'm gonna try that blow dryer technique. I got all I could find was a dead wasp. I don't think I got enough to bury him. I put him in this. A roll of tape came in this. I don't think it's enough to bury him properly. No, I didn't. If I could have caught some of that crap I dropped, I dropped a lot. That one piece of cardboard got a whole lot on it. So, that was a fail. That, um, try to put some on the ant, or, sorry, wasp, fail.
This looks pretty good. Let's see. I thought I seen some uh, bubbles. I don't know if they're bubbles or dirt. I think it's bubbles. I'm going to hit it with the hair dryer. I like to use the hair dryer to keep my hair nice, you know what I mean? And uh, hopefully pull some of them bubbles out. I'm going to see what happens with that. I'm also going to grab a torch. I got a torch. I'm going to see how that works. And I'm also going to clean this squeegee off because I think I could reuse this. It, it actually cleans up pretty good. It, it's wiping right off of this, no problem. I'll probably get lint all over my thing after doing this. One, so it's probably a stupid idea. But whatever. First time. Alright, I'm going to go grab my hair dryer. I'm going to lose the glove now, I think. I don't want to get this stuff all over the hair dryer. Alright, so I got this hair dryer. I'm going to see what happens. See if it does bulk, get some bubbles out. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see that. You know what? Let me grab the camera. Give you a close-up. That was really cool. It actually, it's popping the bubbles. They are bubbles. Um, if you look right there, I don't know if I can see that. There's a bubble right there. And it's, it pops it right out. A little bit of heat. Turn this up a little bit. Make it a little hotter. There's some bubbles there. See them popping out. Bubbles. Right there on the edge. Oh, not too close. Get a little too close and it made ripples. I don't want that. bubbles out there. Ah, you gotta be careful. You get too close and it uh it does make ripples. So the blow dryer does work. I'm gonna run in the house real quick. Grab I got a little burns of matic. I'm gonna grab that propane torch and see how that does. Alright I'm back. I got this So I'm gonna stand by the door. This is fail army here. I'm gonna try it on the ground first. See if it lights this cardboard up. All right, so it's not flammable. So I'm gonna look from over here, try to see. Almost knocked the camera over again. Try to see some more bubbles with more light. I can see a couple. Oh yeah, it takes them right out. That's amazing. I know you guys can't see them, but there's a whole bunch of little micro bubbles in it. Not a whole bunch, but a fair amount. And this thing is just popping them, like, It's amazing. I don't think that one's a bubble. Some of the pictures look like the ends are not like perfectly flat. Bubbles popping. 
It's so awesome. <laughs> this thing's like glass. Not paint. It's that. It's that epoxy stuff. Um, that thing will look like glass when it dries, dude. It looks pretty cool right now, doesn't it? Yeah. This is why I didn't want you guys riding over here. I don't want to get no uh, dust on it. Dust, yeah. Plus, I'm making a video. Some of them. This thing pops the bones. Oh, that's so cool. Looks like glass right now. Dude, wait till it dries. It's going to be awesome. I guess I have to sand the edges. That, it's going to look like glass don't, when it's don't dry. Don't come in because you're going to make dust. I don't want no dust in here. Yeah. It's weird. It's not. It's like wanting to come off of that. It's cool. Over there. Yeah, it's cool looking. It does look like glass, though. What? It looks like glass. Wait till it dries. This will be so badass. A couple little. There's like a flake of dirt right there, but it's. I, there's nothing I could do about it. It's this torch. If there's air bubbles, you hit it with the torch. That one's not an air bubble. That's like a hair. That one's got hair in it. Damn. There ain't nothing I can do. I ain't, I ain't fooling with it. What type of paint is that or something? I'm going to close this door. You guys got to put your blanks in the hallway. I know. We'll tell them all that. What type of paint is that? It's Ooh, um, stuff it's is. not. It's called Fama wood. It's it's, cool. it's epoxy. People make jewelry and stuff out of it. Oh. So it's I cool. made a video of me doing it for YouTube. So, so there's the finish. It ain't dry, of course, but that thing looks like glass. I don't know if you can see that. Glass. That's actually really cool. When it's all done, it should be dry. By morning, maybe try to come out and get a picture of it. But that's it. I'll update this video next time I come back. It'll all be dried up. And uh, final product, like I said, the edges are a little tricky. I think you're only going to get the edges so good unless you were to lay it on its side and do every edge individually. But right now, the top, I think the top looks awesome. I can't wait for it to dry, see what it looks like. Hope this video helps you. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, that's about it. When I come back, it'll be all dried up. And uh, show you how smooth it is. All right, welcome back. Day two, roughly about 24 hours later. And as you can see, this thing is dry. It's kind of hard to tell from pictures. Uh, I don't know how much justice the video is doing, but this thing looks like glass. If I go over here and get the, the sun, the daylight into it, you can really see how smooth. It's got a couple imperfections in it. Nothing I'm really worried about. Uh, overall, I think it turned out awesome. That sticker's underneath of there. That sticker's underneath of there. All the pictures are under there. Uh, something to be mindful of if you're doing this in your house. See that cardboard? <laughs> that cardboard ain't coming up. Where it soaked through the cardboard and went down to the floor of the sea band and uh, really stuck to the floor. But, so that's the final product. There are some 
the drips on the bottom. I talked to a buddy at work. He's used it before. Uh, he said probably have to file them. I, I got a jitterbug sander. I'm going to try to take the sander to him, see how much I can take it down. But uh, that's the final product. Look at white clouds and blue skies. Thing looks like a mirror. You can kind of see the the ripples and indentations where the pictures are. Um, like I said, it's not a big deal overall. I think this thing looks phenomenal. Just a quick project. I don't have a whole lot of time or money into it. Just something quick. I think it looks pretty cool. Memories of trips we've been on and maybe the next table I build will have some pictures for the next five years in it or so. So, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you, it helps you if you plan on using the resin to coat a table or anything else. Uh, I, I thought it was really easy. I talked to another guy at work. He said the one he used was a little more difficult. He stirred it a lot longer. I stirred this for about two and a half minutes. I started really slow with a wooden, wooden. Uh, I actually used a shim, a wooden shim. Started up really slow. Uh, it went from being uh, cloudy, opaque maybe, to almost crystal clear in the cup that I started in. And stir it slow so you can get a lot of bubbles in it. The less bubbles you get in it stirring, the less you got to put the torch to it. Uh, this particular one I used, the torch, it didn't catch on fire. I was a little nervous. I put the torch to it to get the bubbles out. It didn't catch on fire. The hair dryer worked also to get the bubbles out, as you can see. There's a couple little pieces of dust in there, maybe. A couple little edges of, like, pictures. Like, that's the edge of a picture. Really not much I can do about that. That was an imperfection in the picture. And once you start it, it pretty much, once you start pouring, you can't sand something. So I probably should have did a light sanding on it before I poured that on there. Knocked down any edges, but who knows, it might have ruined the picture. So all in all, I think it looks great. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I hope it helps you out.